Welcome back to EDU in 90. Jilly and Tim here, and on this episode, we'll be highlighting news from across Google for Education. That's right. There's lots to share, so stick around for updates on Future of the Classroom, Google Assignments, new coaching resources, and more. Let's get to it. Let's kick things off with the Future of the Classroom program. Any educator will tell you that teaching and learning are changing in a range of ways. So Google for Education partnered with a global team of researchers to dig into these shifts. Back in June, we published the Future of the Classroom Global Report, and we recently published 11 country reports, which provide additional detail and opportunities to learn from the innovation taking place in a given country. Head on over to g.co slash future of the classroom to check out a country report or two. Next, we recently introduced Google Assignments, a new tool that brings together the capabilities of Google Docs, Drive, and Search to do things like streamline assignment workflows and give constructive feedback with comment banks. If you're one of the 40 million people using Google Classroom, you've already got the best of assignments baked in. For everyone else, Assignments gives you access to these features as a complement to your school's learning management system. Check out the links below to sign up and try it out. Over the past two years, the Dynamic Learning Project team has worked with more than 100 schools throughout the U.S. to build and strengthen technology coaching programs in schools. They recently released a new online training curriculum for instructional coaches and administrators with two learning paths with more than 20 hours of training content. See the video description below for more details. And lastly, based on feedback from school administrators, we recently announced Transformation Reports, a free tool that helps quantify an organization's implementation across G Suite, Chromebooks, and certification and transformation programs. The reports will be available twice a year, at the beginning of fall and spring semesters, with the current cycle now open. Tailored recommendations shared throughout the report and trends over time help leadership teams know where to focus next. Check out the links for more on how G Suite super admins can express interest in a transformation report for their school or district. Well, that does it for this episode. Thanks for joining, and be sure to subscribe to the Google for Education YouTube channel for more EDO90. We'll see you next time. Looking to connect students in the classroom and drive collaboration? There's a Chrome extension for that. Check out our last episode for your top Chrome extension recommendations to increase collaboration.